So when it comes time to add audio into our phaser projects, the process is fairly straightforward. And one way that we can do that in a systematic way is taken from one of the examples in the phaser labs. So if we look at this example, which has a, some code that we're going to be able to use to work on, it's using an audio sprite. Now that audio sprite is going to be a single sound effect file. So all of these different sounds are all part of one mixed down audio file. And it's saved in two forms, OGG and MP3, so that it can play in different kinds of browsers. So it's always good to save it in multiple formats so that we can have our audio playback no matter what the device is. Figuring out which audio to play and where to play it in our sound file is in this JSON file. So if we look at the JSON file, we'll see that it's reinforcing which sound we're using, but then more specifically, it is now giving us a name, a start time and end time, and whether the sound should keep looping. So it makes sense instead of loading a bunch of individual sound effect files, so we would have to do multiple server hits to download and store each one of those separate audio files, we can download it as one single file. And we have start times and end times. And we can see it can be a second or even a fraction of a second. So if I look at a sound file here, where I now have multiple sounds in a sound file. So with that, fight, fight, teddy, victory. So I have four sound effects included in this file. Fight, fatality, fatality victory. victory, and jump. And each one is then at a specific point in time. So with that, I can mimic the sound that, or the file that is now inside here. And I can just take this same document and rewrite it to match my purposes. So when I do that, and write out that JSON, we can see it looks like this. So it's now telling me where the audio files are, and now it's mapping out those sprites. The first one is from zero to one, then from two to three and a half, five to 6.5, and seven to 7.5. So the starting point is the part that really matters as part of it, so you gotta make sure then that's spot on to what you need with your audio so that it's going to work, and then that's really going to be, you know, how close are you to the start of that sound? Do you need to be right at the beginning of it or over a little bit? And then we can see time code down here. So I'm in Adobe Audition, but any audio editor, whether it's Audacity or whatever other program you're using, it's going to give you time code so you can look at it and decide, okay, like here, you know, we're starting out that I just said five in my JSON file. And then that's going to be close enough for the purposes of this project. So that gives us a good start. I've written out my JSON using the JSON from the Phaser Labs file. So when we look at that file, we can see that's the form that it takes. So just copy that, rewrite what you need, and then we're going to look at how we load it as an audio sprite into our project. So when we go to load this into the project, we can simply do it inside our preload for the scene. Now once we preload it as part of the scene, we will have access to all of these assets in our other scenes as well. So this dot load and it's audio sprite and then I'm just going to call mine sound effects, SFX, and then I need to say the path for the JSON so that it now is able to load that. And then I'm going to specify the audio files. that I am working with here, and I have my two audio files. Whoops, I forgot my slash under asset, so then that would have failed. Let's try again. Assets, game, sounds. Wow, and I forgot my slash here as well. I'm on a roll today. All right, 
So that now preloads that so we have access to it so we can work with the audio as we put it into our project. So now that it's been added, I'm going to just go into my scene here and I can simply say this dot sound dot play audio sprite. And now I tell it which sound I want to play. Going back into the JSON, when I look there, I want to choose fight as my first sound. So I can save this. And then we can jump it up live. And we have a little error going on here. And be able to load the resource audio JSON. And if I go back into here, I can see that I spelled scripts wrong, spritz. That's kind of odd. And this time when it comes up, audio magic, fight. And we can see now it plays the sound. So one sound is playing. Let's go and add a few more in. So I want that when it's time to go to a new scene so that I have collected all the stars. And once I've collected all of the stars at that point, then we're going to... Um, when we go to our win scene, so that if I have successfully collected my stars, so we tell our sound to play the audio sprite from the sound key of sound effects. And now I'm saying which sound, the one that is listed on my JSON as victory. We'll do the same thing over here under lose. And this time we will play fatality. But I also, under my update, I want it that every time I jump, We'll tell it to play a sound. So now let's save that. No error messages, that's good. Fight. Jump. Jump. Oh. All right, I'm just gonna do one thing. I need to bump my power up here a little bit for Fight. jump. 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 Because at 300, the jump. only way I could get up high enough to clear a level was jump. to actually jump on the star itself. Jump. You can see when I hit jump, it says jump. 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 Fatality. So that's working. Jump. Jump. Now let's try and uh, jump. win the game, verify that works as well. Jump. Victory. Jump. So we've now jump. verified that by adding that audio sprite, we're able to now play it and make it part of our game.